Ross Welly lines up as a right wing next to McGlinchey. They're going to boot the quarterback left. Here he goes, deep downfield. Trencher field got it. Trey Area. A lot of single high safety down there, and then it's a one-on-one -on -one with the receivers. That's a good set of receivers down there. And he ran for 15 touchdowns. Flag is thrown. Fields avoiding the pressure. This Take it off. Right here. Right on cue. Justin Fields to the end zone. We'll check the flag. Redmond is at center right now doing the snapping. Here's the boot again. And Redmond is there to block. Throwback. Fields has Jesse James. Backpedals in. Fields with a touch. What's going on guys? Today we're doing uh, the week um, one, the rest of so we uh, we're done the Patriots, uh, Washington Steelers, Eagles, Titans, Falcons, Bills, Lions, and Cowboys, Cardinals game. Right now we're doing the Dolphin, um, we're doing the rest of the games and there's a good amount of them. Let's just get right into it. So starting off with the Dolphins Bears. So the um the um the Dolphins lost 13 to 20. Um, Justin Fields was awesome. He threw for 142 yards and a touchdown. He also ran for a touchdown. On five years and 33 yards. He looked really, really good. Uh, Andy Dolan was fine. He only played one drive. Here's the one thing I, I have concerning for him. He, the offense wasn't efficient when, I was, when he was out there. I just want to say that straight up. And uh, Nick Foles, whatever. But Justin Fields definitely looked like a better quarterback than Andy Dolan. Andy Dolan honestly should start. I'm just saying that just for the well-being of uh, Justin Fields. No offense. You, you call me a little biased for this. But Justin Fields will get mauled if he plays against the Rams. I'm just saying that because he's a rookie quarterback and the Rams are going to take advantage of that. But if, if he starts. But Andy Dolan should probably start on that Sunday night game. And then we go to the Dolphins side. Tua was bad. He was 8 of 11. Yeah. Say 8 of 11, 99 yards in touch, and an interception. Three of those, all three of those incompletions were in the red zone. He was not good in the red zone at all. Jacoby Purcell looked a lot better. Yeah, you can say completion percentage. It's only 16, 7 yards. He did throw a touchdown. Tua threw a bad uh, interception in the red zone. He just doesn't really look that good. And I think he just needs to learn that he's going to have to take hits and make a bigger plays for his door. Salvin Ahmed I loved. And then uh, uh, Miles Gaskin also looked really good, too. But these two started. And Malcolm Brown actually, in the, um, he didn't really do much. That's concerning because he is their goal line back. Patrick Laird was actually pretty good, too, when he had to play. But Salvin Ahmed, Miles Gaskin, were the two leading backs. I like what they did. Um, Malcolm Brown a little concerning. And Pla Patrick Laird is a good fourth back. But what I wanted to say is, Mike Kosicki, they need to get the ball to a lot more. Mike Kosicki is their best weapon. I don't care what people say. He is their best weapon. He's maybe not their best receiver, but he is their best weapon. They need to get the ball to him more. But, yeah, so Tua didn't look so good. Justin Fields is awesome. That's basically all I have to say about it. And he, um, and then we go to the Broncos, Vikings. It, I'm not going to be talking a ton about this, but they absolutely mauled the Vikings. None of their starters and a lot of the um, starters for the Broncos play, that's probably a big reason they won 33-6. to But more importantly, Teddy B, he went 7-8-74 yards a touchdown. He looked pretty good, honestly. A lot more accurate than I expected him to. But it's against the backups, but he played pretty well. Drew Locke absolutely dotted them up. Uh, the Vikings up for 5-7 for 150 yards. One yard, two touchdowns. This is the Steven, though, because you are playing against backups. If he didn't, honestly, yeah, I, I'm going to still say Drew Locke sucks. Here's why. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying that until he actually proves me wrong. Like, I, lo I really like Drew Locke. I, I used to really like Drew Locke, but I still don't. If he does, he, this is what he's supposed to do. If he didn't do this, I would have been really concerned. Like, he has to do this. Teddy B, he played like I expected him to. He doesn't throw for a ton of yards, but he did his job. Brett Rippon was fine, too. Don't, yeah, don't. And then, of course, uh, Javante Williams, he was awesome, of course. And then, uh, I expected him to do that. Same with Royce Freeman. We go to the Vikings. Uh, Kellen Mine was a robot, like, if you watch, um, yeah, whatever, he was not good. 6 of 16, 53 yards, not very good. Jake Browning is a, uh, five, is a 5 of 10, uh, quarterback. He, that's, I've seen him play, man, that's just what he is, he's a uh, 5 of 10 quarterback. What I mean is, he's not accurate, basically. And Kellen Mine actually did good on the ground, too. Forgot to mention that. But, Ravens, uh, Saints is a little, a little concerning, too, is 17-14. But Ian Book, I like Ian Book. 
uh, 9 of 16, uh, 26 yards, touch interception. Like, he looked pretty good. Like, nothing special, but I really liked how he played. Like, he, he tried to force the ball, well, put the ball down the field. Got intercepted, but I like what he's trying to do because Notre Dame, he did do that a ton, and it kind of hurt them. Uh, Taysom Hill, 8 of 12, 81 yards. Like, this is deceiving, though. A lot of these were check downs to the running backs. Like, Devontae Freeman, one of his catches, two of his catches were on completions from Taysom, Taysom Hill. He threw a bad interception, way overthrown, but it doesn't really matter. Jameis, 96 yards, one touchdown, one interception. I expect him to throw a pick because he hasn't played, like, legitimate, um, like, gotten back into the swing of things in a while. 7 to 12. Yeah, he probably, Taysom Hill honestly played, played a little better, but I just want to see t Jameis just be able to be more accurate and get that interception out of the way. He's going to throw some, but. I hope it gets better. Devontae Freeman was terrible, and it, uh, Latavius Murray was uh, pretty bad too. I, he didn't have his best game. He's had a lot. He's had a lot better game. Tyler Huntley, Act, and Trace McSorley both played honestly pretty average. Like Trace McSorley threw an interception, but like I said, he's like he did what Ian Book did. He tried to force the ball downfield and just try to get those yards. I like what they did. 17-14 in the final. Tyler Huntley was actually play, playing a lot more conservatively, but it worked out well. And if Trace McSorley had one really, really good run, and that really helped the Ravens winning. So I, I, I'm happy about Trace McSorley and Ian Book. I like what they're trying to do. And, like, it's kind of like Jalen Hurts. They're trying to uh, push the ball down the field because they know that's their weakness. They want to get better at it. Brown Jaguars 23-13. There's not much I have to say besides uh, um, uh, um, Kyle um, Valletta is absolutely awesome. He's a really good backup. Case Keenum played Case Keenum. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, but. 19 of 27, 112 yards, two touchdowns. He played pretty darn well. I liked he he he, he managed the game really well. Donovan Peoples Jones, like he didn't get that involved, but that's what I expected. He only played like the first two quarters, so it's good. Uh, but how about Jarvis Johnson, like getting involved in most of the passing, like two for 28 and um five for 14, not very good, but I just like that he's getting involved. Jaguars, like Gardner Minshew is. Like, just not very good, I have to admit that. He didn't play very well. He couldn't f put the ball downfield because the Browns secondary was absolutely, like, putting them down. And Jeremiah Wozu Koromoa was making Minshew run around. Here's why. He, he was basically on the spot on Minshew when he was out there. Minshew couldn't do much. and it was, I, I'm, You could call me yelling excuses, but I watched the game, and it just... He, did, he didn't really look comfortable like he could do anything either. Trevor Lawrence, he played really well. He was awesome. Like, he, he did what I expected him to do. Like, nothing special. He only played two um, drives. But Mitchu just needs to learn to, like, improvise a little better. Yeah, you could say that's what he, he's good at. But he needs to adapt. That's a better word to use. CJ Bathard, eh, whatever. He should have done this because he's a, he's a, good, he's a good quarterback for reading defenses. And... Minshew, he's good at reading defenses, too. They didn't do that to him because they knew he wasn't going to run. That's the thing about him. Jake Lewin also, like, these two guys both did really well because they're, they're not, like, getting forced to do what Minshew's doing. They they figured out Minshew. Travis Etienne had one rush. I'm not surprised. James Robinson, he honestly should is gonna should be the starter. I don't like Travis Etienne at all. At all. Like, just as a, like, he's a good player, but I don't like him. I, I like James, James Robinson a lot more. Okay, now we go bengals Bucks. This is going to be very short. Uh, 1914, that's all I have to say. Kyle Shermer for the Bengals actually played, uh, not good. <laughs> Brandon Allen, uh, he was a lot better, but, like, nah, that, that's whatever. Kyle Shermer actually tried to run a couple of times. No, I think it's pretty funny. Uh, but Jamar Chase had one big catch. Like, I'm, I'm scared for, uh, um, you Browns fans because, man, he could light up some secondaries. Uh, Kyle Trask, um, he was very inaccurate, just not very good. That's a little concerning, but his first year, uh, these are basically identical stats, except Ryan Griffin is not Blaine Gabbert. Blaine Gabbert's a much better quarterback than Ryan Griffin, in that for that reason, he threw for more yards and didn't throw two interceptions. That's all I have to say. Uh, yeah, Ronald Jones got some action, uh, he didn't do anything, because he only got one carry. But either way, now we're going to the Jets, uh, Giants. This will be pretty quick, because it was pretty boring. Zach Wilson played pretty well. Like, basically the same game as, um, Lawrence, except he was, he missed some throws. Lawrence's, two of his three incompletions were drops. But I want to say Zach Wilson just, he played, he played okay. He wasn't great. I, I expect him to play, um, a lot better during the regular season. Like, here's the thing. He, he's just, he thinks he's so good. Like, that's, I just don't like that about him. He needs to work on being a little less, um, cocky because, if he actually dies, he's going to get um, blown up by other teams. Like, the Patriots are not going to let that happen. 
Clay Thorson actually didn't play that bad, like, in terms of the touchdown, but he didn't complete many passes. The, the Giants' offense was so inefficient. Like, they had one good drive, and that was it. Mike Lennon, like, he just didn't play well. Texans, uh, Packers, uh, Texans, uh, they started, actually, they started, like, no, but they actually started most of their starters because a lot of these guys, they, 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 a lot of their starters, to tell you the truth, they're just backups. So that's the thing. Uh, Davis Mills was at, like, he was below par. I'll just say that. He was 50% completion, 112 yards interception. He just didn't really look that good. Tyrod Taylor, when he went perfect, I liked how he played. And then for the Packers, Jordan Ruff played really solid. Kurt ben Banker, he just doesn't really have a good arm, and it's hard for him to put to push the ball downfield. Here, here's the difference. The quarterbacks that can run that have struggled with that, they can do it. Kurt Banker, he has trouble doing that because he doesn't have the arm to get it down there. Jordan Love, 12 um, of 1,722 yards. I expected him to play out because if he didn't, it would have been a little bit of a problem. But he played fine. He got injured. I hope he gets better. 26-7 Texans. It was a, a, lot of, a lot of defense for the Texans after Love got hurt, but whatever. Chiefs, Niners. Um, Chiefs started Anthony Gordon. Uh, Patrick Mahomes actually came in for a couple snaps. It was pretty funny. But, yeah, Chad Henney was actually uh, the only one who actually didn't try to do anything. Anthony Gordon was basically out there to protect the ball. And then uh, Shane, uh, I forgot, I literally they pronounced it. I literally just went Brandon. Whatever. Shane, he also basically was Anthony Gordon, except a little more aggressive. You say that? Chad Henney was the only one being aggressive, and as a result, he threw a pick, but he also threw a touchdown, so... It's a, um, uh, it's a, um, uh, it's a, ha like, basically, you're going halfway with that. Uh, Jarek McKinnon was pretty good. Clyde edwards Slayer, I liked how he played. He had some really nice runs. And then we go to 49ers. Uh, Josh Rosen was Josh Rosen. Uh, 10 of 15. He usually has a good completion percentage. Like, I have to admit that. He's been, he's been, like, I have to be fair with him. In these scrimmages he's played in and the, like, uh, games I've seen him play in, other than, like, if you discard 2018 2019 the regular season he's been pretty accurate like his completion percentage has been in the 60s doesn't throw over a ton of yards doesn't have a great arm Thro threw an interception because he tried to push down the field once and it was a terrible throw that's what happened trey lance he was he threw a uh, he had a big flash play touchdown that was on the high right high level for the uh recap but 5 of 1428 yards it's a rookie game. I expected him to do that. Jimmy Garoppolo was good when he was on the field. Like, they weren't awesome, but he was fine. The Simba Webster, that was a crazy one. He just blew past everyone, and then he just got knocked down. Uh, yeah. So I never knew he was that fast. Like, I knew he was pretty fast, like, but he's really not that fast. It's just, here's the thing. You get him going, he's kind of like Derrick Henry gets him going fast. I don't ever talk about it. To Michael Hasty was actually pretty good, too. Like, really good, because the Chiefs just couldn't stop him. 1916 was your final. Now we go on to the Raiders, uh, um, Seahawks, uh, Sean Mannion, he was meh, uh, Alex McGowan, meh, and Geno Smith was meh, all their quarterbacks were meh, and then they, they couldn't run the ball for their life, I had to admit that, like, they only had this many carries, like, if you look at their yards per carry, like, these two are pretty good, but they didn't run the ball a ton, and they couldn't really run for their life, Raiders, uh, backups were pretty good in the run game, it was 27, just so you know, uh, Nathan Peterman, I guess, uh, he has, um, guess it was, um, he was just, like, John Gruden's like, let's just put, uh, I'm just going to start Nathan Peterman the whole game. That was actually not really a bad idea. He threw for a, um, 29, uh, he was 29 for 39, 246 yards. Of course, that was the interception, though, because he's he's Nathan Peterman. He always just throws just throw an interception. <laughs> and then, but, yeah, uh, Trey Raggins, he he had a pretty good game. Not a great game, pretty good game. Uh, B.G. Emmons, he got some carries. He did his job. Nathan Peterman for in for 6 for 32. Like, he took off when he had to. Bo Scarborough, like, he's the guy I want to see big hitters, because that's what he is. He's a big hitting uh, running back for the Lions. That's one of the reasons they even had somewhat of a running game in 2019. Chargers-Rams. Um, The Rams didn't start anyone, and the Chargers did. The Rams never started anyone. Like, literally, they put in third-string players. Like, Bryce Perkins ran for the most yards. Other than Xavier Jones, all these guys are either fourth or third string guys. But for the Chargers, they won 13-6. Chase Daniel was actually really good. He like he was not missing. Easton six, same thing. Their quarterbacks played really well. Uh, Joshua Kelly, he was the only running back I really cared about, and he stunk. <laughs> Just wanted to say that. Um, Josh Palmer, he's gonna have a job. Uh, same with Jalen Guy, and he's definitely because he's their third receiver. Um, Nick ne uh, Neiman, he could have a job, but. 
for the Rams. Bryce Perkins was the only player I thought that played remotely, like, eh. Like, Jacob Harris and, um, Tutu, uh, where is he? Yeah, whatever. Jacob Harris was the only one on the offense that actually, like, did anything other than uh, Bryce Perkins. Bryce Perkins, 7 of 10, 42 yards touchdown. Like, he doesn't throw for a lot of yards because he never wants to put the ball down. He can't put the ball down field. So, he just did his job. Devon Hodges, he can't put the ball down field through an interception. He's just not very good. Um, Xavier Jones is, will just play bad, and I'm mad about that because he's our backup. Um, Raymond Calais is a power back, not a good power back, I'll just say that. He's not big enough to be a power back, but he's still a power back. He, he, that two yards per carry, I'm not surprised, but they, he couldn't really punch it in with him. But I'm happy about this because, uh, I gotta go way down. Um, yeah, um, Andrew, Mc, uh, Austin McGinnis, eh, like, he went 0 for 1. Uh, Corey Bork was, uh, absolutely bombed a punt, like, bombed one, it was a great punt. Yeah, we have two of the we have the two best punters in the NFL. I don't care what people say. Uh, but Xavier Jones, he needs to get better. Like Jake Funk, he's a special teamer. But Xavier Jones, you gotta get better. I'm worried. You might not have a job. Colt, I'm just joking. But Colts, Colts Panthers, last one of the video. If this thing can load. This one was actually an adventure. 18, uh, 21, 18. It was actually a pretty good. Game. Philip Walker or PJ Walker, whatever you want to call him, 10 for 20, 161 yards He played uh, PJ Walker. PJ Walker is not that accurate and. But he gets the job done. Uh, Will Greer was meh. He was not very good. Chuba Hubbard ran the table for them, though. That's the reason they won. He went 7 for 80 yards. They couldn't. The Colts could not stop him. Like, it was just funny. But he should be doing this because he's a good running back. Terrence Marshall, 3 for 88. He is the most. I'm going to draft him in fantasy. I'm just saying that because he's dangerous. Colts. And Jacob Easton was pretty good. Um, Sam Ellinger was worrisome. Like Jacob Easton, like here's the thing about him. He is he has the best he has one of the best deep balls I've seen. He has a really good deep ball. It's just a short outside route. He I, that pains me. Medium routes he's good, medium middle, medium outside deep, medium um mi uh, middle of the field deep. He's money deep. Sam Ellinger, on the other hand, he didn't do great. Like he threw the ball downfield a little, but but a lot of this was on dump offs. They got like a lot of run after catch, but that interception worried me like a little bit. But it wasn't really that bad. Uh, so that's gonna be the end of the video. Please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. And next week, of course, we're gonna go with uh, Patriots, Eagles, and then uh, that's gonna be the first one. Then we got Friday Night Lights, Friday Night Football, and then we got the Bengals, Washington. I'll do that uh, for another video. Then we got all these games for the we recap and then we got um i'm just going to show you this uh friday night uh lights i'm going to see is this the one on espn if this thing loads I mean, this thing's got to load faster well whatever this is used as a tv thing whatever um these are the friday night light games i'll do that this is another one and then we got all the other games but before, before preseason ends i just want to say um i hope everyone enjoys preseason because tell you the truth it's really boring to like watch games but it's just fun to, like, look over them and watch the film of the uh, rookie quarterback. That's what's important. I'll just say that. Please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the end of um, the uh, first week of preseason. Football's back, baby. I'm gonna re I'm ready for that opener. It's in, uh, of course. It's in, let's see, um, so 14, actually 15 days. 15 plus 9. Okay. So the beginning is basically in 15, 24 days. So, yeah. Games in 24 days. I'm so happy for it. Fantasy's taking up. Everything's going. Football's back, baby. Please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy the video.